I've been put off the clock by a United States Post Office at the Conyers location by a supervisor named Joanna Tate, who came out and assaulted me on the route, verbally, bullied me, took all the mail off of me after I'd been stuck out there for two hours and notified them at least three or four times in the scanner that my vehicle broke down. I had not been in my office in about four months because I was falsely accused of assaulting a customer, so they say. This is what they told the union, okay? I literally been living out my car because I had nowhere else to go. Then when I returned back to the post office, the super, the manager comes out, opens the truck, and starts snatching everything out the truck, telling me I need to clock out and go home. Now, mind you, my personal car keys, my cell phone, and my personal fan is inside the truck. And when I tell her, well, I pretty much asked her, what is she doing? You know? You've already told me that you wanted me off the clock, which I had no problem getting off the clock. And at this point, I'm just not coming back from a five-day break in service. So, and I hadn't been to that office in probably four or five months. So I don't remember the routes because I've been bouncing from office to office. And she's yelling at me, telling me to leave. And I need to go home. And I'm telling her why is she grabbing my personal stuff. I don't care about getting off your clock. That's not even an issue. I understood that when you came out and took the work off of me. Then she puts me on emergency placement. We got paid last Friday. Out of everyone in that office, I'm still the only one that does not have my check. And I've been reaching out to them about my check. Our HR department, which is non-existent, they allow this nonsense, and it's a constant in the United States Post Office. Constant. I probably have maybe 40 miles until I run out of gas. But I got a check sitting down there in my main office, and because I've been put on emergency placement, I can't go retrieve my check. So who do you ask for help? How can you ask for help? 